All right, we're back again. It's 2019 best of cleaners for your tanks, man. Uh, you know, some of you might have seen some of the BRS recommended, but we're really gonna dive into it today. Oh yeah. So uh, what are we gonna see, man? I mean, there's uh, we've got several categories for the best of 2019, starting with the most popular, as always, as voted by you guys and what you guys are buying. Uh, we're also talking about the most economical by glass thickness, the best that protects the silicone, the best that protects the glass, uh, we're also talking about clean the back of the tank, mm -hmm. like which one will clean the back of the tank the best, as well as how do you clean the glass on the outside the best, uh, best in show, and then a little bit of what we'd like to see in 2020. All right, so most popular of the year, as voted by you guys, what you guys are picking up, uh, which one is it? Yeah, this one uh, wins two times over the uh, other second most popular, and it's the Flipper. Yep. Uh, I mean, I, I see this Flipper brand all over the uh, the tanks around the office. One that I've personally bought for my own tank and used on my own tank. Um, as much as I like the flipping action, you know, you can go from scrubby pad to scraper pad, I really only use one side of it, but uh, it is very popular with me. Uh, so the flipper, it's, it's, it's a pretty decent price point, so I think that's mm -hmm. probably part of the reason. Yeah. Uh, it does flip around if you go around the corner. I think most people are using the like razor blade edge mm -hmm. of it uh, to get all the stuff off. Yep. Uh, but it, you know, it also says up to half an uh, inch here. I'd say really good on up to a three quarters, uh, oh, or yeah. three eighths of an inch, and half's kind of pushing it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't float, but it kind of is neutral. It, it glides. Yeah. It glides down to the bottom. Uh, yeah. So this is. If I talk to uh, most people, man, mm -hmm. uh, most of uh, my friends in the reefing industry, they will all say they like the flipper. Specifically, if you have a big tank, uh, the Max guy here is one of the best simply because it's so big. It's just super strong. I mean, this is one that we used on the, the, the 160, and the 160 uh, is 160 half inch glass. Um, but we use it on, we use the larger version on the 160 uh, and it just really holds together. So one of the reasons is just because the blade is so wide. Yeah. Right? You just get to clean oh, yeah. more of it Surface too, right? Area. And so, yeah, the flipper, uh, as chosen by you guys, the most popular in uh, 2019. All right, so most economical, everybody wants to know what the cheapest option mm. is. Uh, and for a magnet cleaner, most economical option, which one is it? Yeah, we're talking about most economical by glass thickness because there are some economical options out there like some nano cleaners that are the cheapest, but they just don't work for tanks that are thick glass. So by glass thickness and by about, you know, five to 10 bucks to the next one where it's the flipper. Mm -hmm. uh, so for a nano, you get uh, the nano boasts up to a quarter inch glass. You get that for uh, like 30 bucks. The standard is up to a half inch glass and that's like 40 bucks. And then you get the max uh, at up to one inch glass or acrylic at, at 79, 99, 80 bucks. Uh, I would say that for me personally, the standard on a half inch glass, um, it can work. Uh, it's just, if you move too fast, then it might disconnect, so. Yeah. Yeah, so there are, uh, you know, it works on up to half inch. They're accurate. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, like, and most people don't have half inch thick glass. But, right. Uh, if you do, be aware, it's not the strongest connection in the universe. So, like, uh, some of them, like the LG Free, have a little bit yeah. stronger of a connection. Also, really cheapest is probably something like the Continuum Aquatics guy, where you're just doing it by hand. But we're talking magnet cleaners there. Yep. So, uh, yeah, so that's probably why it's also, uh, in many cases, the most, the most, uh, the most affordable yep. is also the most popular, and that is true in this case. All right, so best of 2019 protects the silicone of the tank. So this is a big deal for a lot of people because you know, you're going pretty quick, you know, cleaning off your glass and you know, you jam it into the, uh, mm. uh, uh, the silicone. And did you damage the tank or the integrity of it? You know, you don't want to do that. So uh, which one of these is the easiest to protect the silicone with? Yeah, so I was confused when you first pitched this to me about a year, a couple years ago or so. You were saying, uh, uh, when we talk to, we're talking about protecting the silicone in like this vertical up and down type motion. And then I saw, like you said, it's the Tunzi, you know, the Tunzi care magnets. Mm -hmm. And then I looked at it and it has these rounded edges on there. So as I'm going vertically up and down across my, t uh, along with my tank, right up against the silicone, it's not actually digging into and underneath the silicone. And in most cases, not sharp enough to actually like pierce it or cut it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sharp enough to get that hard calcareous algae off uh, but not ripping parts of your silicone out. 
Yeah, so actually this was like one of my favorites and still is in some ways. Uh, and so because it has that rounded edge, you know, I can go across the bottom and I'm not mm -hmm. going to hit any of the silicone. I can go across the sides and not, so kind of in the middle, you know, you do whatever you it's want. But as you get closer to the edge, I like to like actually frame it out. So, you know, kind of do the edges oh, first okay. and then go clean the rest, right? And so if you're worried about, you know, damaging the silicone on your tank with a magnet cleaner, like this is one of the best options. And to be honest, man, this was my favorite for a real long time. And this is the Nano guy, so yep. obviously great for a small tank. They have a strong and a long, and yep. they get bigger and bigger and bigger, like strong plus, 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 or right. something. All right, so this is my only problem with it, is it's super strong magnet, but if it does fall off, it sinks. Yeah, right. Uh, pretty hard to. Yeah. yeah, so it sinks, and then I had to go put my arm into the tank to get it out. And so if it floated, I think that this would actually still be my favorite because mm. I like not having, if I can frame it out real quick and then go clean it all, I don't have to worry about the silicone and uh, it's a much easier operation for me. Yep. So best for protecting the silicone, this is it. All right, so best of 2019, protects the glass from getting scratched. Which one is it? Yeah, this is a little different than the silicone because uh, especially for those of you with sand beds, the, big, the biggest concern is getting particles of sand trapped in between your magnet cleaner and then rubbing that all over the glass and scratching the heck out of it. And uh, I'm guilty of doing that myself. I've only had it happen on one tank, actually. Oh, I really? had it on my first 90, and then I've never scratched the glass again. But after that, you uh, get worried about it. Yeah, when you when you realize what you're doing, then it becomes something that you pay attention to forever. Because you can't undo it. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, man, every time I see it. So the, protect, the best of protecting the glass in this aspect, uh, we've got to give it up to the flipper here because on the side that so I use the blade mostly I, mm -hmm. I rarely use the uh, scrubber pad but most of the times I'm using the blade and on that blade side you have uh, it's a non abrasive surface so you're not really capturing particles of sand but there's these little white nubs right here that hold it off of the glass ever so slightly so that particles don't get trapped in and if they do the sand can actually escape somewhere Mm -hmm. uh, and so, and also this, it won't get caught between the blade or here. So there's mm -hmm. like really nowhere the sand's gonna get caught. So you're really not gonna scratch the glass. Yeah. So I'm gonna say that this is actually a tie uh, because the Tunes uh, Magnet Cleaner is the same. So the way that this guy works with the little blades there uh, also isn't gonna capture any mm. sand in there. And so you're good. You're not gonna like scratch your, your glass. So if you're worried about scratching glass, the blade side types that don't use the scrubby pad, which can get uh, little bits of sand and stuff in there are the best. So both the flipper and the tunes, kind of a tie for best of 2019. All right, so best of 2019 for cleaning the back of the tank. Uh, magnet cleaners and stuff don't actually work the best uh, on the back because it's kind of hard to get back there with mm -hmm. the magnet and there's often stuff on there. So which one is it, best of 2019? I mean, obviously this one has to go to some kind of long handled blade type of thing. And I've used quite a few of them, uh, the different styles and different types. And I've, I've had some that have bent and broken and things like that, which is no good for anybody. And then I've had, I mean, you can only put a minute, uh, so much pressure on them before they bend or break or something like that. And uh, the whole reason why we brought this one in, the Continuum Aqua Blade. Uh, we use this on all of our tanks, the, uh, the 750, the, uh, the 160, the 750 XXL, this little guy behind me, all the tanks that are growing that huge sheets of uh, coralline algae on them, we use this on. Uh, it comes in a bunch of different sizes, like 15, 24 inches. This is the 24 inch version, uh, the 36, the 35 inch version. So like probably on your deep tank front to back or where have you. Yeah, so absolutely in the back. So you'll see this on the cleaning cart if you ever come and do a little tour of BRS, yeah. uh, you know, cause we're using it to clean all kinds of tanks. It's super, super, super strong, man. Yeah. And so you can apply a lot of effort to it. Yep. So strong that if you were at Reef of Palooza this year, you could see me using it as a cane. Oh, that's I, true. I hurt my knee, <laughs> uh, uh, crashed my bike. That's so true. I was, this is my reef cane. Yep. Uh, I support my own weight on it as I was walking around the show. Yeah. So yeah, uh, this is super, super, super strong. And the best option that we've found for getting the back of the tank clean, there's again, also that little handheld guy that you can do this. Then also the little tops pop out. So once it, you know, mm -hmm. kind of gets uh, used up, you can, you know, pop a new top on top of it. Yeah, they have metal blades, uh, plastic blades. I think we use the plastic for in all cases, mm -hmm. uh, so the plastic is pretty rigid enough to like scratch or scra uh, scratch the stuff off a of glass. Uh, I personally, a uh, little side note, I like that little guy, the handheld scraper for uh, cleaning my algae uh, turf scrubber screen. Oh, it works really, really well. Oh, that's a cool yeah. idea. All right, so that's the uh, best of 2019 for cleaning the back of your tank.
All right, so best of 2019 for cleaning the glass on the outside of the tank. I mean, you could think just like RODI water. Yeah. But there's actually upgrades from everything. So what is it? Mm. Uh, so this was something we were turned on to this year, which was really interesting. Uh, it's the Tunzi uh, Care Panes like glass cleaner. So, I mean, it's more than just water. It's uh, It's got some alcohol in there, some water in there, but it also has like these botanical blends that... Uh, uh, help to keep these oil that creates this oily surface or oil surface on the front of the glass that protects it from like fingerprints and stuff so you get crystal clear glass and it lasts for multiple days uh and if i touch it i'm less likely to leave a fingerprint i guess so this is another thing that uh you know when i first saw it i'm like Go ahead. Is that really necessary? I know. Uh, I don't know. But uh, you see Josh use it here on all of the tanks. So it's, again, on the cart that goes around here. Yeah. And it's because it makes it so much faster. Oh, he uh, says he loves I mean, it. Yeah, you can clean anything with anything, but, like, it's just how much time does it take? Mm. And so this shaves a ton of time off and just, you know, makes it much, much easier. And also, uh, like, these little E-cloths, too. So it's not like a microfiber cloth. Yeah, it's different. You know, it's designed specifically for perfect finish on glass and all shiny surfaces. Yeah, yeah. so. Zach uh, on the marketing team had, uh, I went and asked him about this one because I haven't used it personally. Uh, and he says it's one of the best cloths that he uses. He keeps a whole bunch of them in his drawer. Uh, because he said that, you know, if, you, if you've if you used microfiber towels or something like that before, uh, you, or you reused a towel for your glass, you notice that as salt creep gets on there, it starts to smear and you get these smudges and lines and everything. And he said that uh, this one actually prevents or protects against that over a longer period of time than a microfiber uh, to where he's, can you get like multiple weeks of usage out of it before he's got to wash it. So I bought microfiber towels before too. And uh, you know, often like I get them from like Costco where now you get a big super pack mm -hmm. and they have like some kind of oil on them. Ah, yeah, yeah, true. And so uh, like, I, I just, they work, but not the greatest. They don't really suck up water or anything. So this thing and this thing combined, you know, can take it so it's just like super fast. And you know, uh, I don't know, for 12 bucks, this thing will last probably multiple years. So like 50 cents a month, oh, yeah. uh, just making your life easier. Yeah, uh, Ro so. Roger Tunzi said on a six foot tank, uh, it's lasted him for up, upwards of a year. Oh, so there you go. Uh, this is a, a lot, lot easier. So best of 2019 for keeping the outside. If you really want to do it the best and the easiest, uh, the tune spray combined with uh, the glass cleaner there. All right, so best in show 2019, the best one available. If you could pick anything, which one is it? Uh, we don't agree. Mm -mm. No, we don't agree. And uh, for me, my vote goes for the flipper. Uh, there's, a, I mean, there's a couple reasons why. Because, like I said, I only use, I use this thing on all my, on all the tanks that I've had. Uh, I only use this, the blade side, so I don't have to worry about the scratch glass and stuff like that. It's just not something that I'm, uh, I'm worried about much anymore. Uh, plus, I mean, this thing is super small, and uh, so I can easily slide this around the side of the back of the tank, and it gets lost back there. So I don't have, uh, you know, a big wooden block. So because of that, uh, and it's black and it looks nice and it hides well uh gets my vote so that is uh i think most people would agree i don't uh <laughs> but uh this is actually i had like an hour-long debate with terrence on this one too and he agrees flipper all the way as yeah well. and so the two reasons is he does not want to scratch his glass he's got a super expensive tank reef savvy mm. tank doesn't want to scratch the glass so between those two little points and the blade you know, he feels real comfortable but more so the big one the flipper max he's able to do it faster because the blade is bigger so mm -hmm. those are like all legit reasons right yeah. uh for me I got one and one only reasons. Oh, so A, you know, the this is kind of more of a premium version. And you'll notice there's this giant foam pad inside here and that I actually picked it up really carefully because these guys are super strong. Oh yeah. Right? Like you Look really, really gotta respect the strength of the LG free magnets, especially the great white here. Uh, you could hurt yourself, in fact, if you let them snap together. Uh, so these are strong and that, so partially, partially I like it because it is strong. It really gets the stuff off there. But number one reason I like it is because this floats. Oh no, I'm sorry. This, this side. floats. Yeah. Uh, and so, I don't know. I just don't want to put my hand in the tank ever, right? And yeah. any way I can make sure I don't have to put my whole arm in the tank is a good way to do it. Yeah. So uh, when I don't think actually the great white one floats to the surprise. Actually, but the great white. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's all the, only the other one. ones. Yep. Uh, and the great one's the biggest one. Uh, but all the other ones actually float. So when it gets disconnected, the inside floats to the top. And I can just grab it and reconnect Put it, it back, back on. Yeah, the other ones, I gotta put my arm down at the bottom and go look for it. So uh, for you, those of you that don't wanna ever get your arm wet digging around in the tank uh, and get the strongest uh, bond to get the hardest stuff off, uh, the LG Free model is the premium option. 
No, there is another option out there. Uh, this is, yeah, it's really funny. Uh, so you walk around the customer service tanks and you see on the outside, they've got this nice wooden algae free block just hanging out there. Uh, but on the inside, They've got this little, small, slim, low-profile so uh, so flipper, and it's, su <laughs> it's super light. Uh, so the combo together uh, is kind of like this dream pack for our CS team. Yeah, so uh, that is exactly it. So uh, this right here, if you like uh, no holds barred, just want the best option <laughs> get both uh, of out them. there, uh, you can pick up both of them. Uh, uh, or if uh, you broke one, I don't know, who knows. But uh, this is what actually a lot of people are using. Yeah. So you can put the script fl flipper side in there mm. and then have the super strong magnet attachment, have no scratch, no glass in here. And I will say that like even though that this guy has a uh, glass attachment to it, mm -hmm. Uh, I gotta be super careful. Uh, <laughs> so it's glass attachment. It is possible right on the edge where it lines. You could could get a grain of sand in there. Mm. I don't really worry about it because I've never had that problem. Mm. But like if you just want to remove the possibility, the flipper thing, and specifically like if you were Terrence and like I just love to prove uh. Terrence wrong at any time. You could actually get the flipper max, the wide blade on it, attach get it to the, attach it to this guy, and they get the best of all solids, right? <laughs> uh, so best in show, super hybrid deluxe option, but. For uh, most people, you know, including Flipper. Randy, for me, I, I just want it to float, end of story. I want it to go to the top if it gets connected. I don't want it to go digging behind rocks. And so for me, algae free. All right, so my favorite part, everyone, everybody probably knows this already, best improvements for 2020. I think there are going to be some coming. Yeah, uh, so right off the bat, for the first improvement that we want to see for 2020, uh, that I would want to see for 2020, is, I mean, these things are strong enough as it is, but let's make some stronger options. So I'd like the small, you know, if I have a smaller tank, maybe I don't have this uh, 126 foot, you know, six foot style tank. Maybe I want to use this smaller form factor in like a 60 gallon cube. Uh, but I want that strong connection. I want it to really rip through that calcareous algae and film on the glass. So make some stronger magnet options. Yeah, so uh, you guys watch this because you want like the real review, right? You want somebody to tell it to you straight. So I will tell you, with the algae-free models, they're telling it to you straight. If it says half-inch glass, it's good it's for half-inch glass. Yep. In fact, don't go over or you won't be able to move it. <laughs> True. Right? So yeah. like, you can believe them. You, they're building this thing to function the way it's intended all the way up there. Mm. This guy for half inch glass, you can notice I'm not super careful about how I handle it like I was that one. Yeah. Uh, and so it will work on half inch glass, but you're really fudging it a little bit. So for me, like I, I don't mind, man, charge me an extra 15 bucks and get me the right tool for the right job. Mm. And so have it be more accurate. And so I'll challenge the team over at the flipper here to you know, get some uh, magnet options that are stronger and uh, you know, be a little bit more accurate with how these things work. It does work up to half inch, mm. but you're really, really pushing it and it will fall off more than you like probably. What's well, the strength of that magnet that really did, gets through that algae? So yeah, if we you, I mean, hit it. Yeah, I mean. So if you've got coal line algae and you hit it, it's just gonna slide right mm -hmm. off, right? Over the top of yeah, it. Yeah, so yep. three eighths inch is really good. Uh, but I don't know. So mm. uh, same thing, I think, with the, with the big one. I think it's rated for up to inch. I don't think it's probably gonna work super great on that. Three quarter inch, probably half inch mm. super well. Yeah. So I think we can upgrade on some of these models here, the strength of the magnets. I'll say also these tunes ones. They are and pretty you, strong. You can feel it in the weight of these things. I mean, pick it up and you automatically know, so. Well, another note about the, the strength of the magnets, it's not just the magnets, but they have the replaceable blades. So I get a mm. wide blade and I get a narrow blade. Oh yeah. And so you use the strength of that, the tunesy magnet on a narrower blade and I can really dig it through that hard algae. So it doesn't have to be extremely super strong, I can just change the blade or have one small one on one side, one large one on the other. Yeah, that's actually an interesting note. So for those of you who didn't know, uh, we just got the little one up here, but the bigger ones come with wide blades, right? And they're swappable, you know, you can pop them out. Mm -hmm. And so the wide blade does it faster, mm -hmm. but if you have the smaller blade, like you just said, it actually pushes that pressure on a smaller area, which allows you to really dig into the hardest stuff. Yeah. So yeah, uh, stronger magnets and uh, like a smaller surface area. So uh, yeah, I would I would love to see stronger magnets. Also, uh, wet sides float, please. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so there, you know, there's uh, some that float, some that don't, mm -hmm. and uh, I would like to see all of them float. I don't know what's really gonna happen here, but if, I think if you look on this thing somewhere, I've been told that uh, the float side is actually patented. 
right? Oh, really? Yeah, and so that's why you only see it on like the Magna Float, which is like a you know pretty inexpensive option out ah, there, yeah. and the LG Free. I think they just kind of split up their their hmm. uh, patent on that. But I think the patent's actually expiring in a matter of weeks, actually. So hmm. you might see in 2020 uh, all kinds of different options float to the top. I don't really know what's going to come out of that, uh, but. Uh, I would love it if more options in 2020 kept my arm out of the tank because it's going to expand all kinds of opportunities mm. that I may have not used before and now I would use. So what else is there another one I'd like to see? Uh, I want to see, I'd like to see some more options with these little nubs. So uh, I, the flipper is unique in that if you wanted the scrubby pad side, you could use the scrubby pad side and then flip it while it's in the tank and then run, use the blade side. Um, for me personally, the, I, I don't use the scrubby pad. So I could just use more options that have nubs that protect uh, from picking up some sand and just maybe different blade widths then instead. So maybe I can swap out a wider blade or a narrow blade or a narrow blade uh, to make the, uh, the uh, process faster or slower. Also, uh, you can absolutely round the tips of the blades, kind of like mm. they did with the tunes here. Protect the glass. Uh, because I want the same benefit. I want to be able to clean across the bottom without silicone. messing up my silicone, yeah. right? Uh, and even if you can't make it round, you can just make it a little narrower, mm -hmm. and I could use the edge at, at least. So I'd love to see the same thing, man. Like, I, I don't know. Some people really do like the scrubby pad. You know, for me, it's just way easier to use the razor edge. And mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I think everybody has their little favorites. But I don't ever want to scratch my glass either, so I don't use that side. So, uh, yeah, I think I'd love to see the, count roar, uh, the, the edges rounded off. I'd love to see, you know, a uh, couple different options in there. But also there is one more uh, that I'd actually <laughs> like to see personally for myself. Okay, this was one also for me personally because uh, I told you, I think we were in your office and I said, we're not in the 70s and 80s anymore. Like, I don't have a wood grain stand. I don't, some people have wood grain stands. Maybe not this color wood grain. Uh, so maybe you can give me different wood grain stain options or mm -hmm. just make it black. Yeah, you know, I, so oak is a, like a specific type of wood, right? Yeah. And so like, doesn't really match this, you know, and there's lots of oak stands out there, mm -hmm. but now like I would say most stands like by like probably a magnitude of 80% are yeah. black. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, you're seeing all kinds of other things like cherry wood stands mm -hmm. and like, uh, I think my stands like naughty elder or something just cause it matches the like uh, decor of the room or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So the yeah, one thing that matches everything, black, Yep. black, black <laughs> matches everything. Right. Yeah, so, sure. you know, black wood, I, I like the wood block. It adds okay. something that plastic just doesn't add, okay. you know. Uh, but you could actually, you know, stain it black, which I think, you know, would add a different kind of element to it, visually attractive. Mm -hmm. And so if you put all those things together, man, what's best of 2020, man? That's for sure. That's it. Going to be one of those. All right. So if you want to go see all of uh, the stuff that we have here on the table and you want to go watch, check it out, see what the reviews and what other people are saying, the uh, link is right here. So we'll see you in the next best of 2019.